What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. We ran our first ever Power BI competition over at training.bielite.com over the past couple weeks. We received some really awesome Power BI report submissions. So in this video, I'm gonna share three of the winning reports that were created for this competition. We're gonna walk through each of them individually and talk through some of the awesome features that they added. For this competition, the report authors were able to connect to a live SQL database containing Google Analytics web traffic data. Without any instruction or guidance, these developers were able to create some really cool reports. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Up first, we have an awesome report from Woosie Fan. All of the winning reports can be found over on the training.bielite.com website, or you can link directly to this page in the description below. Let's go ahead and dive into this first report. So I'm gonna maximize this out. And first impressions of this report is it's very simplistic and clean, and I like that. The coloring is very consistent. Uh, everything seems to make sense on this page. There's not too much going on here. I think that this summary page does a very nice job of summarizing some of the high-level metrics, uh, splitting it up by certain dimensions. It all seems to make sense. But what I really liked about this report is how much deeper you're able to dive into each of these individual topics. For example, we see these dig deeper buttons across a few of these visualizations. If we dig deeper into this entrances trend visual, we're actually able to navigate to a new page that goes a lot deeper than just that high level summary on that first page. Woosie also added dynamic metrics on the left side. So in case I want to view page views instead of users, I can change everything that's plotted on my page. That's really, really cool. I think my favorite part of this entire report is actually this visual down here. This is showing your selected metric over the hour of the day by continent. Since this data is coming from my actual website data, this is really interesting to me as the data owner. For example, I'm able to see that people in Asia are logging onto the website sometime between midnight my time and I guess the end of the peak will be 10 a.m. my time. So then they would go to bed over in Asia and we see Europe kind of come on a little bit later. Then Americas seem to be peaking around 10 a.m. my time, which is what I would expect. But I don't usually think about users in their current time zone. So it's very interesting to see that distinction. Drilling back, there are several of these dig deeper pages where you can just perform deeper analysis um, for example, on this page, we're able to see where our users are coming from via the source. What I like about this page is Woosie was able to calculate the top source by country and then plot it. So we see that uh, China, for example, their top source is actually a direct visit directly to the BI Elite website, as opposed to, let's say, uh, the USA, where uh, the top source is actually from Google. So it's really interesting information to me as well. Overall, I think this report provides a very nice overview of my data. So in case I didn't want to dive too deep, it would give me everything that I would probably want to know as a top level user, but also allows me to dig deeper if I want to. And that's why this report deserves to be amongst the winning submissions. If you want to get in touch with Woosie, all of the contact info is down below underneath that report submission. Next up, we have another great report, nice, simple and clean report. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this. This report submission comes from Mihao Beatsky. What I like about this report right off the bat is it's very clean, not too many visuals on the page. For example, there are three major visuals on this home page, uh, one small kind of minor visual on the left side and all of your filters are saved on the left side as well. I also like how Mihao used the BI Elite colors as the default colors for this report and the colors are consistent across the entire report. For example, we have this color coding section where he has decided to make new users green while returning users are blue, and that is consistent throughout. My favorite thing about this report is the level of polish that was added to it. For example, we have navigation up here in the top right, and it just seems very seamless in order to go from page to page. So we know that we're on the user's page because it has popped out a little bit. It has that shadow. If we want to go to the geography tab, it has a nice uh, faint little background color when we hover over it. And if we go to that geography tab, we'll see that pop out to the forefront. Again, this page is very clean, gets the point across very nicely. I wanna spend a little bit of time on this post tab. This is what stood out for me. Um, as we look into the post by category matrix, let's drill down into this blog category because that is where most of the page views for the BI Elite website come from. So let's go ahead and click on a single web page because we see in this section down here, it says select one page in the table to see its preview. So let's go ahead and click on one of those pages. And Mihao has actually embedded the BI Elite website into this little visual here. So if you select a single web page, 
it's actually going to show you that web page within this little section and i love that so we can actually start to make inferences about why this web page might be performing better than others if i were to scroll down to a web page that's not performing as well maybe i click on one of these it doesn't have many page views maybe this looks a little bit different and we could start to understand oh i see why there's only a couple lines of text on this page as opposed to the other one which was a longer blog post very very cool feature that he added just kind of adds a little level of detail that i wouldn't expect from most power bi reports and then finally uh, Mihao ended with an about page. Mihao is also a Power BI YouTuber, so make sure you do check out his channel. He posts videos in both Polish and English, really high quality stuff. All of his social links are on this about page of the Power BI report, or if you want to navigate to his LinkedIn or YouTube channel, his information is on the page as well. And our final submission comes from Bill Skelly. This is one of my favorite reports uh, that was submitted over the past couple weeks. And mostly because I can tell that Bill put in a ton of time and effort into this report. It's seven pages long and just goes into so much detail about every single metric and dimension that is included in the database. As the website owner, where this data is coming from, if I were to ask a consultant to build me a Power BI report around my data, I would love it if they went into this much detail. There are some nice, quick, high-level metrics here. You can see some trends over the entire history of the website. We have a nice date slicer here, um, which kind of allows us to drill down into the quarters or months as well. Bill's also even added this refreshed win section. I really like that as well, because that'll tell us just how fresh our data is. I'm gonna skip through a couple of these tabs because there is a lot of information to cover, but you can just start to get an idea of the level of detail that is included in this report. Bill has included dynamic metrics. He's also thrown in a couple of fields into these chiclet slicers that weren't included in the default data. For example, I can see that Bill has split out the hours of the visits into four different sections, early morning, morning, late evening, and afternoon. That's really cool to have those buckets. So if I wanted to just look at late evening data, I might do so. Moving onward, there were a couple other items that caught my eye. Uh, let me go ahead and keep going through here. I like the fact that he added a box plot that is very statistical and a lot of report consumers may not want that, but since I am more of an analytical mind, I love that he has added uh, these box plots here. There are a couple of items on this tab that I like as well. Uh, he has added forecasting, which I think is a really cool touch that's easy to implement, but adds a large impact to the report. He also added this uh, kind of stock price scroller, which is a really cool custom visual that I haven't played around with enough, but just gets a lot of information in a cool and dynamic way. And two other items that I wanna to touch on uh, on some of these later tabs. I love that Bill has created this page specific to AI and machine learning. We see that he has included a smart narrative visual here on the right side. There's some clustering performed. I love the decomposition tree, just to give me a deeper view of those relationships between those dimensions. And on the final tab, there's just some simple text providing analysis about the data, which I think is a really cool way in order to convey some final information to the user and kind of put a bow on this report. All in all, Bill did a great job and obviously put in a lot of time into building this report. And as always, you can find Bill's contact info down below his report. This was a great first Power BI competition. We're gonna be running new Power BI competitions the first Monday of every month. So if you wanna compete, make sure you stay on top of the contest page on training.bielite.com. We'll be posting all of the information about upcoming competitions there. The developers of all the winning report submissions will receive a free month off of their BI Elite training subscription. They'll also get shouted out in videos like this, and they'll have their contributions posted on the BI Elite training website, as I'm showing you here. Great job to everyone who participated in this competition.